Are you looking for the best 3D printers under $500? In this video we will look at some of the 8 best 3D printers under $500 on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Creality Ender 3v2. Build volume 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters. Some more expensive 3D printers nearer the $500 mark may outperform it in raw power and quality, but for the price the Ender 3v2 offers unbeatable value. That's why it's currently the world's most popular 3D printer. The Ender 3v2 is fairly similar to the original Ender 3, just with improved and upgraded firmware, an improved filament feeding system, a carborundum build plate, as well as an HD color screen. This helps improve your overall printing experience, able to print precisely, consistently, and simply, with the carborundum glass build plate improving adhesion, heating up quickly, and making it easier to remove prints after. For $279 you get a high-quality printer that prints reliably, it's a sturdy machine. For that reason, we recommend it as it's great value, though if you have $500 for a 3D printer other options may outperform it overall. Number 2. Anycubic Photon Mono 4K. Build volume, 132 by 80 by 165 mm. Developed as a high-resolution counterpart to the popular Anycubic Mono, the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K ranks among the best sub-$500 resin printers. One of the main reasons we rate the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K is the 6.23-inch 4K monochrome LCD, capable of a layer height of 35 microns. Coupled with a 132 by 80 by 165 mm build volume, the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K is at home printing all manner of small detail-heavy parts, decorative pieces, and models. The print results consistently display stellar textures and finish. Imperfections and blemishes are few and far between. The Anycubic Photon Mono 4K even holds its own printing articulated features. With a 1-2 second layer cure time, the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K's print speeds are perfectly reasonable for a 3D resin printer, too. The fact we've also recommended the Elegoo Saturn begs the question, why choose the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K over the Saturn? Multiple reasons, all of which make the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K a better pick for beginners. Most pressingly, Anycubic Photon Mono 4K commands a price tag roughly half that of the Elegoo Saturn, making it far more accessible to newbies on a tighter budget. A small build volume is a trade-off here, but for those without plans for batch prints or medium to large models, the Mono 4K still offers plenty of volume to play with and best the learning curve. Anycubic has also gone to lengths to simplify the printing process for beginners. Fully assembled shipment, minimal setup, and an intuitive slicer in Anycubic's in-house photon workshop should see you printing impressive models in no time at all. Should you want to expand your horizons with advanced tinkering features, the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K also plays nice with third-party resin slicers like Lychee and Chi 2Box. If you need a small form factor resin 3D printer at a competitive price, you can't beat the Anycubic Photon Mono 4K, in our opinion. Number 3. Creality Ender 5 Pro. Build volume, 220 by 220 by 300 millimeters. Despite the large size, the Ender 5 Pro's upgraded mainboard keep it quiet, it won't wake you up from the next room along with its loud roaring. Featuring Creality's upgraded and new metal extruder, the Ender 5 Pro offers even better precision as the added strength makes for better targeted deposition and more precise forces to exert on filament during the extrusion process. The quieter mainboard and upgraded metal extruder are two crucial and underrated upgrades the Ender 5 Pro offers over the standard Ender 5. As with all Creality 3D printers, it's easy to assemble and shouldn't take even beginner makers more than an hour. And in the event you do run into any trouble, you can contact Creality's support team who will gladly help. The cube structure makes it a stable, sturdy, and anchored down 3D printer. This benefits your printing experience as the stability prevents any vibrations or any other forces from creating shaky prints with imperfections, leaving you with smooth and accurate prints every time. The large size will be important to those looking to print big structures, or parts of even larger sculptures, characters or large-scale prototypes. 
Overall, the Ender 5 Pro is a great 3D printer under $500 with its size, accuracy, and consistency. Number 4. Creality CR6 SE Build Volume, 235 by 235 by 250 mm. An ill-fated Creality CR6 SE Kickstarter campaign saw Creality hemorrhage goodwill among backers, with dodgy power switchers, scorched boards, and shipping delays, among other issues. However, Creality got to work and remedied all these initial teething issues, public apology in tow, and any Creality CR6 SE purchase now ships with all these issues fixed. As it stands, the Creality CR6 SE is a potent 3D printer that justifies its under $500 price tag. There's very little to differentiate the Creality CR6 SE from Creality's excellent budget Ender 3V2 in both looks and print quality. So, if the Creality CR6 SE is so similar to the Ender 3V2, why spend that extra $100? It all comes down to a nifty set of features and parts that scream ease of use. Leading the Creality CR6 SE bid as a worthy alternative to the Ender 3V2 is an automatic bed leveling system. The hot end acts as a strain gauge that determines the adjustments needed based on recorded resistance at 16 points on the bed, no more time lost with pesky paper-led manual leveling. Few other best 3D printers under $500 deliver automatic bed leveling, let alone in the same consistent, hassle-free way as the Creality CR6 SA. In our experience, the printer provides a perfect first layer without fail. A new 4.3-inch HD color touchscreen affords intuitive and responsive controls, miles better than the approximate dial on the Ender. The Creality CR6 SE also upsizes the Ender's build volume by a few millimeters to 235 by 235 by 250 millimeters. That's enough to tackle the overwhelming majority of hobbyist projects out there, from functional household items to decorative pieces, by way of modest same-part batch printing. Creality CR6 SE houses several other, more technical changes over the Ender 3V2, such as dual-drive Z-axis stepper motors, a new sophisticated extruder design, and a photoelectric filament sensor. Sleek and a talking point, but they don't necessarily translate to better print results. It performs identically to the Ender when using PLA, which means smooth layer lines, small detailed features, and an overall, consistently excellent quality prints. Overall, Creality CR6 SE offers just enough to make it an attractive choice over the Ender 3V2. If the hands-on approach of the Ender 3V2 doesn't sit well with you, the Creality CR6 SE's convenience and ease of use features come highly recommended for beginners and thrifty makers alike. Number 5. Chidi Tech i made S, build volume, 260 by 200 by 200 millimeters. We previously featured the Chidi Tech X Pro on this list, and have consistently rated it as one of the best 3D printers under $500 with an enclosure. However, technology moves on, and Chidi have now released its heir apparent, the Chidi Tech i made S. It's sturdily and robustly built with a full metal frame that fully encloses the build area, so you can far better print ABS in the closed chamber and better maintain the temperature to prevent warping. The metal frame also anchors the printer down, preventing vibrations from affecting your print quality. If you're looking for a 3D printer under $500 for 3D printing miniatures, this might be the printer for you. Shidi Tech shipped the i made S with a 0.2mm nozzle, rather than the standard 0.4mm nozzle, though a 0.4mm also comes with the printer, for printing intricate prints more accurately and nailing the detail on intricate models. Overall, it's a 3D printer that comes assembled, has an enclosure, and great build volume, at an affordable price. Number 6. Anycubic Mega X. Build volume, 300 by 300 by 305 mm. A big 3D printer capable of much larger 3D printing projects, cosplay parts, or printing multiple smaller objects at the same time, the Anycubic Mega X offers a lot of bang for your buck. It is a 3D printer kit, though even beginners shouldn't be intimidated, you just need to assemble the parts with 12 screws and a few cables before you're ready to print. The Mega X features the same ultra-base patented heated bed as the cheaper Mega S that features in our best 3D printer under $300 ranking, able to reach up to 90 C temperatures for printing most filaments. The material makes for much better adhesion during printing and easier removal after you're done. 
as with most $500 3D printers, the Mega X lets you resume printing from where you left off such as after a power outage, and features a 3.5-inch touchscreen for a simple 3D printing workflow. The metal frame is sturdy and heavier, anchoring the 3D printer down to prevent any shakiness or vibrations from printing affecting your model's print surface or leaving any imperfections. Anacubic's new Y-axis improvements make for better precision, in addition to a number of other changes that generally improve your printing experience. Overall, the Mega X is a consistent, large and workhorse 3D printer that you can rely on to print for hours on end at home. Number 7. Elegoo Saturn, best for large part resin printing build volume, 192 by 120 by 200 mm. A souped-up, supersized complement to Elegoo's ever-popular and rightly lauded Mars printers, the Elegoo Saturn is a hulking MSLA resin printer. The Mars was always a tough act to follow, but Elegoo went the extra mile to offer a mid-to-large build volume without compromising speed or quality. On the contrary, an upgrade to an 8.9-inch 4K monochrome LCD guarantees virtually the same level of detail, three tiny microns in the Elegoo Mars favor, while offering print speeds flirting with one second per layer. That equates to roughly 60% faster than the Mars 2 Pro. These improvements allowed Elego to balloon the build volume to 192 by 120 by 200 mm, three times that of the Mars 2 Pro. Best of all, Elego finds a special berth in the resin 3D printer space with a machine boasting a reasonably large build volume that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. The print quality stacks up on par with the Mars printers you get all the lovely detail and precision you'd expect from a quality resin printer on both small and larger parts. Smooth setup and consistent results will see you printing within minutes. Even the manual bed leveling process is, dare we say, easy. So, who's best served snapping up an Elegoo Saturn? Those partial to bringing larger, complex custom miniatures and figurines to life with buckets of detail to boot, or multiple copies of the same detail part in one sitting. For us, the Elegoo Saturn is also an interesting proposition for small businesses looking for a cost-effective, fine-detail prototyping rig that's fast and reliable, or a machine to add to a high-productivity small-scale printing farm. The asking price may be a little steep for first-timers, likely better served with a $200 to $300 entry-level printer. But, it's a top option for those looking for a second printer or a first, pain-free dip into high-res resin printing after cutting their teeth on an FDM printer. Number 8. Creality CR 10 V3 Build Volume, 300 by 300 by 400 mm. A successor to the Creality CR 10 V2, the Creality CR 10 V3 is upgrades galore, with Creality pinpointing several areas ripe for improvement and delivering. Leading the upgrade charge is a Titan Direct Drive Extruder, transforming filament loading and retraction dottle, which translates to less unwanted stringing and clogging. Alongside, an improved all-metal frame and sturdy crossbrace give the Titan extruder all the rigidity to tame wobble. The V3 also has all the great features found on the CR10 V2. Among them is a hefty 300 by 300 by 400 mm build volume. The bed size outclasses most sub $500 3D printers and delivers enough printing real estate for even the most towering hobby projects. We found little in the way of complaints regarding the Creality CR10 V3's print quality. The machine fares equally well with PLA and TPU, with consistency a real highlight from one print to another. Decorative pieces, models, and figurines all come out great on Creality CR10 V3. Despite ticking a lot of boxes, there's still room for improvement. The rotary knob controls feel outdated at this point, especially with other Creality CR printers sporting touchscreens. The gnarl of cables linking to the control unit, which requires careful placement to avoid disrupting the printing process, can prove tedious. Finally, Creality weaved in all that's needed to upgrade to automatic bed leveling with a BL touch sensor, but not installing one from the get-go borders on a teasing slight. If the comparatively stingy build volume of other $500 3D printers is likely to cramp your printing style, and you don't mind minor convenience drawbacks, the Creality CR10 V3 will serve you well.